Hey, what's up guys? It's Luis. In this video, I'm going to be talking about a tweak in Cydia called Screen Dimmer. Now, this tweak has been out for a while, but I thought I'd go ahead and review it and talk about um, its features and what it has to offer. Screen Dimmer is only $0.99 cents and it's available in Cydia, in the Cydia store, under the Big Boss repo for $0.99, cents, like I said. So yeah, you must be jailbroken to get it, of course. Um, what Screen Dimmer does is pretty self-explanatory. It uh, allows you to increase your iPhone's auto lock at a higher time of going off. So instead of one minute of auto lock to get good battery life, you can now have it at around one minute or so. Or you could just turn it off altogether because it dims the screen after you choose how long you want it to. So it's really uh, user configurable. Uh, like I said, you configure everything through the settings app on your iPhone and it's in the screen dimmer pane like I showed you. You can enable it here. Uh, choose whether it dims while charging, um, how long you can choose dim after. I have it currently set to 10 seconds, so I think that's about a good time. Um, and the good thing about this is you can exclude apps um, so that this app doesn't go on certain, so that it doesn't dim in certain applications. So a good example for this is say you're browsing the web and you're reading an article from the New York Times and of course it takes about more than 10 seconds to read from like right here to the end of the bottom of the screen of your phone. Well you can exclude Safari from uh, dimming but uh, still have all the other applications um, dim as well except whatever application you don't. So to dim or to exclude an app from dimming all you would do is go ahead and tick it on and it wouldn't and uh, turn it off if you want whatever. I have almost every app to dim. Uh, screen dimmer also comes with the ability to turn off the backlight at the bottom of the settings at a certain time which is technically like auto lock but when you touch the screen it's still on. So it'll be black, but the thing is if you touch it, it'll come back on. Um, then the last two here is you could choose whether it uh, locks while charging um, or after respringing. So if you turn it on, then it will not lock when you're charging your phone. Um, just little settings, whatever. And uh, pretty much the other stuff is just about the same with the backlight is how long you want to turn the backlight off and uh, you can enable it from right here, same same concept. Um, it's really beneficial to those who are constantly on your iPhone and it also saves some battery which is really good. Um, while it's technically all this application does, if you're one for keeping the most juice in your device then I would definitely check this out. Remember it's only a buck in the Cydia store. And to show you technically, I didn't give you much of a demo. I didn't show you technically what it does. So say you're in calculator and you're doing homework. You can have the calculator open. Eight. So you could be filling out math and then after I have it for 10 seconds, you'll see it go to dim. And there it is. And it stays like that until whatever auto lock you have. So mine is a minute. So in about another 45 seconds now, that's when it'll lock. And then just to get it brighter, you can either hit the home button um, on some apps, or you could just touch the screen and it'll come back to full brightness. But that'll do it for this video. If you liked it, please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe if you're not. I'd appreciate it. And be sure to check out jailbreaknews.com. I'm a blog writer over there now, and I'm posting a ton of articles daily, um, iPhone news, um, new hacks and tweaks in the jailbreak community. Um, it's really growing pretty pretty fast and as of right now we have a contest going um, be sure to follow me on twitter as well twitter.com backslash irockish for more updates news tweaks hacks etc thank you and i will see you in the next video bye, -bye.